I hath returned. However, you wouldn't even know that. Because I record all of my videos like weeks ahead of time. So just fun thought. I could actually be dead at the time that you're watching this. But there will continue to be videos that come out for the next... Oh, month or so after my death. But luckily for all of you who I know care so much about uh, my livelihood, uh, I, I've released my secret to two people who are closest to me, uh, I suppose, in like uh, a friendship form of way. And, you know, hopefully should an untimely occurrence befall me, they will put some kind of comment down below saying that uh, I am dead, so that you all may know and not wait any longer for new videos when they will not be coming. So yeah, happy thoughts. Anyways, I just wanted to point out that uh, for some reason... My mana is listed as player points. Isn't that great? I don't know how to fix that. Uh, I know how to check my mana without using that, but uh, it's just annoying. Uh, and we're now going to turn that off. That was the, the little bit I had to do with that. And this first map we're doing today is Quidditch, if I said that right, from uh, from Harry Potter. Fun fact, uh, or not fun fact. Uh, I'm not a Harry Potter fan. Uh, yeah, yeah. Unpopular opinion. It's not that good. Um, not that it's bad, but it's it's not that good. And uh, arguably it is bad, depending on how you rate it. But I'm sure as far as entertainment goes, it's not that bad. Uh, however, I have personal issues with it. Sus... Sus, sus, that is not at all the word I was looking for. Such as its choices in vocabulary to describe certain magical aspects, okay? It is very generalizing, which is offensive to wizards, okay? Wizards are not what wizards are in, in Harry Potter. That is not what wizards are historically. And uh, you, you, gotta, you gotta get your facts, you gotta get your facts right. Obviously. Obviously. Um, I'm not a nerd, really. I'm not, not at all. Not one little bit. Uh, nope, I'm not. I'm not. But, anyways, uh, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much why I don't like it, is that it just generalizes its vocabulary. No, I'm, I'm kidding. There are, there are, there are other reasons I just don't really remember, because I haven't actually like watch the movies in a long time and I only attempted to read the first book once and I, I didn't even get through it so don't burn me at the stake and uh please don't unsubscribe just just because of that please I, I maybe shouldn't have mentioned that that was too hot of a take wasn't it my channel's gonna die before it even begins all right let's uh let's get on to the next sandy colors I believe is what we are doing next um, still doing maps that I've already completed by Hannah Banana and Lorizel. Oh, hey, I can actually see, uh, my recording now because I actually have two monitors again. Uh, because the reason that I, I said I was gone, I returned because I'd been gone at the beginning of this video is actually because I, I was moving. And, uh, in, in my time moving, I, uh, yeah, in my time moving, that has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. But before I moved, I wasn't able to have both of my monitors because the desk at the location I was at was too, uh, too small and cramped for two monitors. Uh, also, the last map, it was just fine. Pretty plain. Uh, five out of ten. I mean, I guess, like, maybe if you like Harry Potter uh, and you think it did a good job, it could be a 6 out of 10, but I just, I don't know. It was kind of simple, but, yeah. Anyways, uh, I, say, I say it's like a 5 out of 10. Um, as, as far as this one goes, um, Sandy Shores. Also, I don't think either this one or the last one had its creator listed. Quidditch was made by 
Yishi 1610 and Sandy Colors is created by no one? <laughs> huh. Well, that was unexpected. Um, but anyways, yeah, so now I've actually moved and I have both of my monitors, which is honestly so nice. Once you have two monitors, you never want to have one again. Like, it is ridiculously nice. Fun tip for those of you who might be playing along and are maybe not as good at the game, if you want to make more difficult jumps, um, like this one, which is approximately a four-block jump. I know it's three blocks and then up one, but that's about the same as a four-block jump. I'd say it's only slightly easier. Um, is that you shift to the very back of this, and then you just jump and jump again. That's pretty much it while sprinting. It's sprint jumps, but yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do. Um, see, this person gets it. Blue, the blue rage something, I think. Uh, along with the Captain Rex skin, these people are all getting ahead of themselves and uh, blocking my view on the ladder. But that's okay, because I actually know what I'm doing. I almost didn't make that jump. And I didn't make that one. That is called karma. Or you can just actually be able to run and do the jump without having to do the whole, like, measuring yourself, because it's... Kind of difficult, honestly, and it's rather annoying. There we go. All right. I do find myself that when there are a bunch of longer jumps, uh, that actually just doing them all in like one go is better because I keep my momentum better. Uh, otherwise, I likely lose my momentum. But yeah, now that I have two monitors, because uh, I totally don't get sidetracked with what I'm talking about, I, uh, I can actually see my recording at the, at the same time, and uh, I can more efficiently game because I'm a pro gamer. Ha 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 ha, see, I am, I'm actually a pro now when I say I'm a pro. You see that? Yeah, you have to, you have to find my name. Good luck. Anyways, um, I think we can do another one. So that one was, what was that one again? Sandy Shore? Sandy Colors. Sandy Colors. Now we are gonna do no wait we've done bunny before we're not doing bunny i know we've done bunny because it's b uh pig i don't believe we've done pig yet if i know my alphabet we did not get to pig builder is eddie l 2003 tester is daemonchi and another builder is girl gamer 101 fun fact my original username had 101 in it uh, before I realized that I could have my own unique username that I would l learn to uh, pretty much become one with. And now I, I am pretty much as much this username as I am my real name, which no one here needs to know. But yeah, just fun facts. I'm such a nerd that my username might as well be my real name for me. Like in my heart, it is who I am. Uh, also, the last map, uh, I think it actually has some difficult jumps. I've seen it be difficult for new players, um, so as a new map, it's actually reasonably difficult with some of those jumps. However, uh, I personally think it's not too terribly hard, As, but then again, I've, I recently did it because I think I was helping someone uh, get through it. Um, but uh, it's I liked its design. It has a pretty nice design. It was kind of pretty to look at and a well-incorporated parkour. So it's likely a 7 out of 10. Um, it could even be an 8 out of 10. I think it might just come down to preference. But I'm just going to give it a 7 out of 10 because I'm not feeling very generous. Uh, this map, which is a pig, and we've read it, is a pretty simple... However, I do find that its pig is a little uh, misshapen, and its body is like the same size as its head. It's got a good head. Um, there is no space between its legs. So, I mean, as far as a compact pig goes, which I don't know if it was necessary for them to make it compact, it's pretty decent. The parkour is pretty simple. Uh, and, you know, I had a pretty good time with it. So, 6 out of 10. 
But yeah, so that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. There will always be more. Thanks. Cut the video.